Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to study some more about three-digit numbers. We're going to form them and break them apart. For example, here I have a number. Can you read it? 548. How many hundreds does it have? Well, that's an easy question. I'm just going to put five here. It has five hundreds. How many tens? This digit tells us the tens, four tens, and then eight ones. And then we're going to write it as a sum, as an addition of its parts. The first part being 500, and then the 40, and then the 8. Let's try it again. What number is that? 209. So it has two hundreds. It has no tens. Zero tens. Notice that. And then nine ones. And as a sum, it is 200. And here go the tens, no tens, and then nine. Now we're going to do the same over here. Write these two numbers as a sum of its parts, of their parts. This is what number? 985. As a sum, 900 and then 80 and then 5. Notice that I do not write here 9 plus 8 plus 5. No, that wouldn't be right. It's 900 and then 80 and 5. And then here, 610. So we get 600 and 10. And over here, this one has no ones, so I put 0 here. That's pretty easy, I hope. Now let's do it the other way around. Here are the parts, and we need to write the number. 200 plus 60 plus 5. That's also pretty easy because all you need to do is ignore the pluses and say it 265 and then write it as 265. This is a little bit trickier. Think about it for a moment. 100 plus 90. It makes 190. So I write it as 100 and then there's 9 tens and 0 ones, right? 907. Okay, it makes 907, but don't write it as 97. You need to write it as 900, 0 tens and 7. Remember that. Over here, we do the same, but the parts are scrambled up. So this is not going to make, I cannot write here 7, 8, 3. I need to think, first come the hundreds. There are three hundreds, so I need to write 3 for the hundreds, then 7 for the tens, and then 8. Right? Did you understand? Over here, the same thing. Can you think of what number it makes? 6 plus 400 plus 40. First, the hundreds, 400 and then 40, and then 6. And here? 700 plus 9 plus 50. But the hundreds first, then the tens, then the ones. 759. 60 plus 800. Okay, first the hundreds, then the tens, then the ones. But there are none. Put the zero. 4 plus 900. Again, first the hundreds, then the tens, but there are none. Remember, you need to put zero there, and then the ones. 904. Next, we're going to do some puzzles with these triangles. And over here, we need to find what number goes in place of this triangle. So we have 200 plus a triangle plus 5 equals 265. Can you see what number goes here? It's pretty easy. 200 plus something plus 5 makes 265. We can see 5 is there, 200 is there. What's missing is the 60, right? So the triangle equals 60. Now that's a little bit trickier. Can you solve it? 40 plus something plus 5 makes 545. Okay, we compare the parts. 5 and 5 are there, the 5 ones. 40 is over here. So what is missing is 500. 
the triangle is 500. And lastly, a little bit different puzzle, 100 minus triangle minus triangle equals 94. What number is the triangle? This one now has nothing to do with these hundreds and forming numbers and breaking them apart. It is just a puzzle about two-digit numbers. Okay, let's think of it this way. 100 take away something. If this was just like one something we are taking away, it would be 6. 100 minus 6 would be 94. But instead, this six, these two together make 6, so the triangle must be 3, right? Matt is saying these were two easy puzzles for him. Okay, Matthew, I know. Yeah, I know they were easy. Okay, I'm going to change one of the puzzles to be a little bit more challenging, and then you try to solve it before Matthew will, okay? Let's change this, this one number here to 110. So the answer changes. Can you solve it now? Can you solve it, Matthew? I'll show you a trick. Remember the answer was 3, okay? It used to be 3. I changed this so that it is 10 more. Therefore, each triangle here has to be 5 more than it was before. 3 plus 5 equals 8. Did you get that, Matthew? Sure, of course. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.